Gerald. William, please hurry. Help us. She needs to regain help consciousness Mrs. now. Layla. I need you to help me get her up. She fainted. Kenny. Kenny! My Kenny! God, my God, please help us! Where my are God, you, Kenny? Please help us. Kenny, please, for please God's sake, be of use to us. Go call a doctor. Go call a doctor please now. Do something to help her. We need please. to get her help. We need to do something, please. 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 Wake what up. What are you doing? What happened to mommy? Oh, nothing wake at all. Up, nothing wake at all. Up. You should already be asleep by now. It's late for you to still be up. Let me take you back home. Miss Layla? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I brought the hard drive, sir. I don't think I need to remind you. This stays between us. So keep your mouth shut. When have I ever let things slip? Have a good evening. If you need anything else, leave. Upstairs, Miss Aaron. Alma, did something happen to Kareem? <laughs>
What the hell is this? What have you done to the boy? Uh, Ethan, the, the blood what won't stop to him. I, I can't stop the blood. It's what too much. What did you do? It's, it's his finger. Tell me where that devil is. He, 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 he's outside. Aldo! What have you done, huh? How could you do that to the poor child? There he goes again. There's blood everywhere in there. You cut the boy to pieces. Shame on you. They asked for it. We said no police. They didn't listen. Don't walk away. What did that kid ever do to you? Is this the child's fault? Huh? <sighs> I thought you were a man, and I followed your lead. You should feel ashamed. Listen carefully, Ethan. You're older than me, so I won't hurt you. Is this what we agreed on? Huh? You said that you wouldn't hurt the kid. Didn't you swear you wouldn't on your mother's grave? Your so was... what if I did? I only did what I had to do, Ethan. You really didn't think I would let those bastards make a fool out of us. Well, Ethan? My son, what happened to you? You were never like this. You weren't the type of man who'd be cruel to a child. Tell me, who's responsible for turning your heart to stone? Don't you know who? Who is that? Mr. Mason. I called him all morning. He's not answering his phone. Doesn't he have another phone number? Maybe. But that's the only one I have. Try calling Martin. Mr. Martin, I'm sorry to bother you so early in the morning, but I need to ask you something. Does Mr. Mason have another number? Oh, dear. How else can we reach him? It's urgent. Okay. His office address will be fine. I'm familiar with the area. 